Hello and welcome to Thailand, more specifically Bangkok. Over the next couple of minutes or so, I'm going to show you some of the sites that are Bangkok, starting with this place right here, which is Koh San Road. It's like a backpacking hotspot, which right now is a lovely, quaint little street with just a few shops, but later tonight will become absolutely ridiculous. I'll show you that later on. First, we're off of some temples, see a little bit of history and something that's a little bit more up our street uh, and then later on you get to see a little bit more of the street markets and the nightlife that is uh, renowned here in Bangkok. As you may be able to tell, our plans changed just a little bit. So we were in one temple, which I'm not going to butcher the name of. In fact, at most I'll research it and write it down. But there was this lovely guy, really nice. He was like, no, you don't pay me, I, pay. I work to give people information. He tells us where to go for a nice boat tour. It's going to take us around a load of temples and like floating markets and stuff. This is going to be really awesome. So we changed our minds. So we were in one temple that we walked to now we're on a boat and we're on the boat for the next hour um, and it only cost about 15 we managed to bar a little bit 15 pounds that is um, so yeah can't complain and let's just enjoy a very nice sightseeing view of Bangkok <laughs> on the river. Now we didn't get to go in any of the temples, but that's okay because as you can see, I'm in another one. First of all, the ride was insane. And to top it all off, we got to see some of the biggest monitor lizards I've ever seen. So that was just top notch. We got to see a side of Bangkok you wouldn't normally see, which was really nice. And as I spin around, because I'm not sure I'm supposed to keep going that way. It was a real eclectic mix of houses and temples and schools and colours and everything. It was just insane, so nice. Uh, every so everywhere you go, it just gets better, as you can see with all these beautifully adorned Buddha statues. I'm now in the temple, uh, Wat Po, which is home to the reclining Buddha. So without further ado, let's go and see even more insane stuff and a Buddha lying down. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, my lovely people. It is very late. We were gonna go for one drink on the road behind our hostel, six and it turned later. into six. So we're a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit drunk. We are heading towards Co San Road, which earlier on today was a lovely, quaint little street with just a couple of shops and clothing and everything. But it is insane, and I'm gonna show you now. Off we go. Let's see it. It is warm, it is nice, but Bangkok, day two, let's go and explore the rest of the temples that we didn't quite get to yesterday. fair few hours later and we've actually only really done the Grand Palace which is just over here but it was massive really nice insane just structures and buildings everything had a little bit of a tour blessed the woman was very quiet and her English was a little broken as you'd imagine so we understood most of it but not all of it Either way, absolutely amazing in there. We saw the Emerald Buddha, which actually was carved out of a block of emerald and is a, uh, inside one of the temples. Um, you weren't allowed to take pictures in there because it is quite so uh, protected and special. But I got to see it with my eyes, you don't, unfortunately. So yeah, palace done. Final destination today is a Golden Mountain Temple. Apparently there's an amazing view from the top, sunset and a really good view of Bangkok. Just a quick walk there now and then you shall see me hopefully on the top of a big temple. Not yet on top of the mountain, but as we were walking along the street uh, heading down towards the temple, everyone got pushed to the side of the pavement, just like police officers and everything. Um, and then yeah, we just saw the king of Thailand drive past us. Uh, Gemma tried to film and the officer made her delete it and went into recently deleted and made sure it was definitely deleted. Very secretive, very different to what we're obviously used to. So due to a special mission, the mountain's closed. 45 minute practical jog across Bangkok to get here in time for the sunset. Useless. There's the sun going down over my shoulder and we are just at street level. But it's pretty chill around here very uh, thin. So all that's left now is to head back towards the hostel, get some food and just chill out because I'm absolutely so tired now. Yeah, so I forgot to outro the last video, I've just realised. And it is now 24 hours later, so apologies. I am now at the location of what will be the next video. Anyway, I'm just going to Sign out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.